Hello everyone and welcome to our video on covering the error can't connect to server. When playing ARK online, you obviously need a server to play with your friends. But what happens when you can't connect to that server? Well, what do you do? Well, there's a number of things that we can check in order to make sure that your server is running properly so that you can connect to the server. And today we're going over how to check those things exactly. Connecting to your server. The first thing that's obviously the most important is knowing how to connect to your server. This little box right here on the left hand side of your panel is your best friend. This has all the information you need to know in order to connect. Speaking of connecting, we actually have a guide that is great for figuring out every way to connect to a server. Turning your server online. Now I know, I know, it seems a little silly for this to be an error, but it can be sometimes, even for me. Sometimes I'll just forget that the server is not online, so what you need to do is head to your panel and just select the start server button if your server is stopped. When you see this command, you're going to double down and hit the green start button. From here, after a couple of minutes, it should start. Very long loading times. If you get this error where it feels like your server is taking ages to load, well, there's not really a fix per se. There's just a couple of things that we can check. The first is if you have any mods installed, as well as certain server settings. These are things that can delay the start of your server. And if you have some of these enabled, you may need to wait 20 to 30 minutes in order for the server to start properly. That's about it. The server doesn't load. If this seems to be the case, then you want to head over to your file browser. This is the first thing that we're going to check is the logs. Select the file browser underneath the tools section. Then you'll select the folder arc se, which is highlighted in yellow. From here, you're going to follow this path as each page loads. You're going to go to shooter game, select that, which is also highlighted in yellow. Then you're going to scroll down to where you can see content and saved, and you're going to select the saved one. Then you're going to select the logs folder as this is what we want to check first. And finally, you'll see a big long list of logs from previous runs of the server. And once you select just whichever one you want to take a look at, I recommend the latest, you can see if there are any visible errors that have caused your server to crash. If you can't see anything, then, well, that's when we move on to the next point. But this is something that is very important to know. From here though, we will discuss the next option of fixing things. What I recommend here is if you happen to have any sort of mods or server settings that are changed, change them back in order for the server to essentially start vanilla again. This should help fix any server connection issues. If it doesn't though, what I recommend as a general last resort is reinstalling the game. The reason that I insist this is the last resort on the server part is that you have to lose the world in order to get a full reinstall in. So if that's something you're okay with, hit the red reinstall button and after that, things should be good. If you still have an issue, then I recommend you also talk to our support team. Version mismatch. If you feel like you've done everything right so far, but you still can't figure out why you can't connect, it could be a version mismatch. All you have to do is locate the version of the game and the version of the server and see if they're compatible. If they are not compatible, then this is likely the reason that you cannot connect to the server that you want to. Underneath server status, you can see the version. And if for some reason your version doesn't match, then all it takes is a simple restart and it should upload the latest version of the game. If you notice on Steam that there are no updates available for the game, then it's likely that it is updated on your end, the client end. But one other thing that you can always check is in the properties of your game, you can always check the updates file and see if it is updated to the latest version. This is something that I do recommend checking out. Next, in Epic Games, the simplest way of putting it is run Epic Games and the update will start automatically. Finally, if you have any mods on the server side, you definitely want to check that those are updated to the latest version and then restart your server once more in order to make sure that everything is running properly. This should fix any version mismatch issues. Conclusion 
There was certainly a lot of stuff that we just covered, but hopefully something helped out your issue if you're having any issues. Of course, I always recommend checking out a support ticket in case you don't know exactly what the problem is. Our support team is super helpful. Other than that, it's all up to you to get back into the game with hopefully whatever fix may fix your problem. Once you're in the game though, and your friends join you, then it's up to you to survive this onslaught, and best of luck with that. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and consider ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is what you like to see and we can show you some more in future tutorials. That'll do it for this one. Until next time.